So I set out, and basically this is what I do this time of year, summer. Just an incredible volume of sea robin. Just a great way to fish in the summer. Talk about, you know, what I'm doing, what I brought uh, as per what to expect when I'm fishing. But I was going and he's going to poke me. And I went through the single hook today. I need to flush that barbie down. Don't want to just drop them when that line's around your hand. You get some work of that. <laughs> Don't really know what's going on when I hit the water, uh, but I know a couple things. Anything be going on? But today, like I said, I'm working with the jig. With the jig with the epoxy minnow. Nope, get that later. But the reason for that is, well, the, the sea robins are just crazy. So I brought clam, I got gold, I have some lures, but I'm concentrating on, on the sphinx silver jigs, teasers, I brought minnows, poppers, stuff like that. But I know if I'm working the clam, uh, it's going to be, I'm going to have to be changing the clam, sea robin's going to be getting it, and, uh, which is fun, but it's just easier to do it with the jig, so I pick the jig. Same thing with the gold, you drop on the gold, gold's cost money, it's a little expensive. So I could just work with an epoxy jig and catch those robins, catch those robins, catch those robins. Blues come along. I got the jigs and teasers all ready to go. A fluke come along. I have the gold. The robins are there just having fun with them uh, with the jig and teaser. Um, enjoying the day, casting out, catching fish. Who knows what happens with that turn of the time. That's basically, you know, how I'm working the water. Um, since the water comes up at this time of year, anything to kind of push in, you know, uh, trigger fish, corgi, uh, anything really. But I know if I'm working with the clam now, um, I'm just going to be getting sea robin. So I'm going to go out and, you know, fish through those robins and fish through the tide. But this is basically a nice selection right here. It's very light. Uh, it fits in a, in a little compact bag. Of course, you got sinkers and hooks, but it's still a little half the size of that. So you get all your stuff, you get all your fishing, all wrapped up in the one. And you're ready for just about anything. Well, they're in there. So I'm working with the gulp now. I bought a few different things all you need to work the beach with. But the thing that we're killing them with the epoxy minnow thing to over the sea robin. I just kind of felt like maybe... Uh, that's a nicer fish too. That was a nicer fish. Working through with the gulp now. So we're gonna work through with the gold now. We got a, these are a few different summer items for summer fishing. So I went over to the gold. I think, oh yeah, that's a fluke. It kind of has that flutter. I don't think it's a big one. It's got really fishable in here, so I'm gonna get this a shot. I'll get my tires. Oh, it's a nice fish anyway. on his way Ooh, my well, I'm gonna work through with the gulp a little bit I have a Carolina rig I'm gonna work it in towards the beach pocket here we got you know the spring a bunch of different things and see if we get anything else besides the sea rock all right now we're at least picking that fluke with the gulp did he get off no nothing new but they're a little bigger than this one and this is really like a baby they're a little bigger. Those tiny, tiny. And 
with the golf. I'm just Carolina rigging. That's about a foot and a half, 30 pounds. That's a little bit of a bigger hook. Not my ideal hook size, but that's what I have. So that's what I need. I had a small one on there. Barrel swivel, B. That's one ounce. One and a half ounce might be better, but that's working this far. That's a summer bag at work, a little bit of thing. Cover a lot of water. And, uh, yep. Different kinds of fish. See what's working. Definitely anything. This feels like a decent fish. I think he's going to be in that super rain. Got to be a fluke. I know it's a fluke. I went over to the goat, working the goat now. Started with the same fill, but I have plan. I don't know if I'm going to work the plan. Oh, he's definitely a nice fish, that's for sure. Clean playing a ton of fish. Wow, he's a nice one. He's right in there. He might be a little short, but he's a nicer one. So we have some nicer flukes today. Nothing big, big part. Oh, he's, he's close. He's let's get him on here. Get him up here. That's a nicer one. That's a eight, sixteen. He is about seven, seventeen, eighteen. So please, just a bit a little. A little of this, a little of that. There we go. Let's see if we get a weight. He'll make it on his own. Not we're gonna carry him. Right, I'm gonna Let's give him a try. Get some water. Oh, maybe he's got some water out here. How you just hooked that color right up the sand. A pretty, pretty neat day. Covered, covered a lot of different things. Summer, cover a lot of water. And bring a variety, a few things to work. Had uh, sting silver, epoxy jigs, teasers, gold, clam, and. Uh, the whole idea is just cover water, see what's going on. Hitting, is that a fish? Hitting to a pack of fish and, you know, just work the water for what it is. All right, got another fluke. I didn't say that they're like stacked, but they are definitely there and lined up in and out. As soon as you get a few with four they're just hanging in their pocket. They're a little better, better fluke than. On average, in a little bit of blue. No pancakes, but maybe this one is nice. Maybe a decent one. Nothing tremendous, but definitely a nicer fish. And I do like that a little bit bigger hook sometimes. Because you avoid those smaller, smaller fish. It's getting dark now. I'm gonna throw to you the old Adam Popper single hook. Got the teaser on. Really should click it off with some blues on it. That's good. At the beach here. Dark setting sun. He looks nice. Anything can be so Way cool. Whoa! Dropped on a top water, an atom popper, and wham all. Pretty sure he's a blue. Pretty cool. Got the keys on. I might flip that off. Didn't really see any birds just working the water. Maybe the bass mowing around. He's a Pretty, pretty sure he's a little bit of I don't know if I can keep that seed on. Okay. Yeah, he's one of those ones. That is a cool. Oh. 
so tricky. There it is. Grab the atom popper. Like I said, I bring the I brought the sting silvers. I bring I brought minnows and uh, I have it over here. An atom popper, just whatever fits in this tray. So you got mid, bottom columns, and uh, teasers. Um, so I'm gonna work out through uh, with the popper, just for fun. Have fun out there. That's why we're here. Wow, that might be a bass or a big blue. He just walloped it right in the surf. That was cool. Is that a bass? That's a bass! Way cool! He's a keeper too! Wow! Wow, that's a nice keeper. On the atom popper. Way cool. Wow. That is awesome. That was way cool. Let me get him on his way. Oh, he's got it. On the Adam Hopper. Way cool of a day. Uh, everything. On a little bit of tackle and a lot of water and uh, some fine fishing, of course. Were different uh, environments with different stuff. But we had uh, worked the jig and teaser for some fluke, um, worked the gulp, oh, jig and teaser for sea robin, worked the gulp for fluke, and we're finishing off with the atom popper and had a uh, bass bluefish, just incredible fishing. And thanks for watching.